Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Animal Crossing Island Tour video. Today we are going to an island that is absolutely going to blow you guys away. Don't want to spoil too much, but I think if you're a Disney fan, you're also going to like this as well as if you like spooky things. Of course, look how I'm dressed. And as usual, guys, if you like this sort of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe with notifications so you don't miss any future uploads or live streams. As well as after the main tour, we are going to have an interview with the island creator as well as footage of the island during the day so that you can get the full experience. So make sure you guys stick around for that. There we go. I don't think I could have said that much faster, but I want to save you guys time. And now I'm wasting it again by talking. Okay, on to the video. Alright, and we have arrived. Guys, that flyover was so magical. We're already here. We've only been here for a couple seconds, and it's already super magical. Ron, thank you so much. Look at all these presents. I can't wait to open them up. Definitely with that outfit they have, they definitely have some, uh stage presence if you know what i mean <laughs> look at all the disney details here we have the castle right there also look at the paths there's little mickeys there as well as uh on the shirts there wow this is gonna be a real treat all right let's see what they've given us here oh we got a balloon am i gonna be walking around with the balloon how am i dressed flashy round ear oh yes this is perfect <laughs> what look at my outfit Wait, rubber toe sneakers? <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness. They're going to be leading me on the tour itself as a Disney employee. That's actually amazing. Okay, let's quickly check the map. So they have one, two, three houses. And they all look like fully upgraded ones as well as they have such lovely villagers. I'm trying to see if these villagers correspond to anything Disney. And I can't think of any. Maybe Walker for Goofy. But that's all I can figure out. All right, let's check out the passport. All right, the Instagram is ACNH Disneyland. The island's name is Cookie. They're a ludicrously popular wild child. <laughs> the name is Ron. That picture is really spoopy, super scary. I'm loving it as well as guys, if you want their custom designs or to visit it yourself, the dream address and creator ID is right there. So go check it out. All right, let's get on with this tour. So we're gonna start off going to the right looking at all these things and guys if i miss if i miss any references don't rage at me in the comments <laughs> i'll try to i'll try to fix it downtown disney oh i'm so excited for this oh look at the the, the custom designs here are so pretty and i love how it, it really does look like buildings they're using bunk those are bunk beds so they have bunk beds with custom panels in front of them that's really nice Looks like we have a little gift shop there or something of the sort. Oh, we got a little Mickey down there. I saw that. Oh, is this a roller coaster? The tram. Oh my goodness. I don't want to tram pull on <laughs> any of this stuff. I don't know. I was trying to make a trying to make a pun, but this early into the tour, I think we should save some for later. I don't know. <laughs> so what do we have here? This is the front gates. I, guys, I have never, ever been to Disneyland, ever. So this is actually going to be something totally weird for me. Like, I don't get it. Oh, look at... Wait a second. Is that what I think it is? I can't quite tell, but it looks like a ghost on that dress. That's really cool. Okay, let's go through here. I love... I love how they're trying to stay true to the actual Disneyland itself. We have Mickey! Okay, that, that I know for sure. Mickey floral. Oh my goodness. Yes, of course you have to have that. That just fits so perfectly. I, <laughs> I couldn't even see my character, but I can know where I am by the little blue balloon going around. I'm glad they didn't give me a red one. That would be a bit like it. Club 33. Anyone who's been to Disneyland is going to go nuts for this, I bet. <laughs> but I don't know what Club 33 is. <laughs> Wait, is that Goofy? Is that Goofy? <laughs> no, that's Mickey. Wait. Sorry, guys. From far away, it kind of looked like Goofy. But it looks like Mickey and Minnie, right? They're just in different outfits. Ah, oh, okay. Whatever. I gotta point out something really quick. Oh, not the map. Oh, I need to with my camera. Look at this. The layering of the pumpkins is so magical. Just look at that. It's beautiful. 
I don't know, just it's so dynamic and it, the height changes everywhere. The lights are so magical and sparkly. So nice. Oh, what's up there? Oh, is that uh, Walt, Walt's, yeah, exactly, Walt's apartment. Yeah, I can see he's sketching Mickey right there. That is such a lovely detail they added. You can tell that Ron is super passionate about this and that that is, I dig that. I dig passion, I love it so much when people are passionate about things. So we have Maple being all cute there. Hey Maple, I love you. Don't block my way. Yes, thank you. You can give her, give her help. <laughs> Maple is being a bit of a butt. So we got the fruit trees here because you need to have at least one of each. We have a little pupper. I'm going to guess that's Goofy now. Or it's supposed to represent Goofy. Disneyland Railway. Railway. Disneyland Railway. There we go. English is difficult. <gasps> Look at that. That's actually so good. All aboard. The... <laughs> this is adorable. Oh, you can even see the people sitting down there in the back. <laughs> oh, we have arrived. We're going to get off here. This is so cute. Honestly. This is so imaginative and just fun. What a fun tour to be on. Oh, what's down there? Standby entrance. Wait time is 60. I hope 60 seconds. Oh, no. Oh, Maple. Maple. There we go. Maple is trying to ruin this tour. Little saboteur. Oh, oh gosh. Look at everything popping in and out. There's wishing stars. And that's probably going to bother a lot of you guys. But I got to tell you something. I just don't care. Main Street, USA. Ooh. I love it. The music, too, is so thematic. Oh, my God. Wow, just look at the layering they have here. And now we have a cauldron. Oh, my goodness. So there's Goofy and Donald. You know something cute? My dad can actually uh, make the Donald Duck sound. And as a kid, I've always tried to be able to do that. Maybe the that's the next impression I have to learn. How to do the Donald Duck sound. <laughs> I'll ask my dad to teach me somehow. The Emporium. Oh, I want some of that carrot cake. Look at the look at all the plushies over there. Oh, and oh, look at the souvenirs. I want to get all of it. What is this castle? Prince Hans. Oh my goodness. Is this Frozen? The one Disney movie I have not seen? <laughs> But this is beautiful. I didn't even know half of these winter items were in the game. Like the snowflakes. I love how they're using alternate colors. I don't know if that's just how they come, but that's very pretty in the way they've layered it. Amazing. So speaking about layers, we are now in Elsa's layer. And there she is. Right there. Do you want to build a snowman? Our queen, Elsa. <laughs> That's really cute. Look at the little popsicles over here. And I love how high these pillars are. Like, they did the max terraforming possible. And then they put a super tall pillar. And then on top of the pillar, they put pumpkins. It just creates such height and depth to an island. As well as these archways. Just stunning and fabulous. Let's look at that again. So pretty. The colors are just so nice. So we're going to go past here. We have some employees down there. We have Dom being cute. And I'm not going to lie. I have, um, I'm not sure what these bears are. It's a small world. Oh, look at the little pin pinwheels and stuff spinning at the top. Uh, oh, um, it's a small world after all. Is that what this is? I think that's what it is. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I definitely could be wrong about that, but... Oh, right, and just as I panned up there, I noticed the fast pass there. That's really cute. That's really interesting. So, oh, I see Alice in Wonderland there, but we're going past that onto one of the... Oh, look at that. We didn't even have to wait. Maybe that's because we have the fast pass. Oh, we're on... We're on a ride right now. Ride on. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm riding on it, playing with my balloon, having a good time. It's an aquarium? Finding Nemo. Oh, yes, I see right there. Oh, look, there's Dory and Bruce. <laughs> Hello, my name's Bruce. 
Fish are friends, not food. Just keep swimming, guys. That's all you gotta do is just keep swimming. That is such a cute detail, panning up and seeing Nemo and Dory. Well, actually, it's not. It, it wasn't uh, Nemo there. That was Marlin? Was his name Marlin? Something of this, like that. I don't remember. I, I'm close, right? <laughs> we go here and, wow, that's a good use of this rock formation. You can do a little loop. <gasps> Please sit. Yes, sir. Ooh. Everyone knows to always sit at the back because... When a roller coaster is going down, you're going to be the last one to go, but you're going to have the furthest distance, right? So if the cart is like 10 meters long, the people at the front won't start accelerating until the back is also off, which means they have 10 meters, roughly less space time. Oh my goodness. So one sec, let me get off of here. This is really cute. <laughs> I got lost in trying to teach you guys how to ride roller coasters that I'm missing out on all this beautiful stuff. Oh my, are those ghosts? Why are there ghosts in space? That's even scarier. Ghost galaxy. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they were ghosts. This is so cute. Now we're in an arcade, but look, you even have the prizes in the back. The gold bar. Oh, goodness. And we have such a pretty colorful flooring. I wonder if that's the actual one they use there. Boot. Just randomly boot. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Get it? Because I'm Canadian. Wall- Oh my god, that's Wally. -E. Oh my god. Guys. It's Wally! -E. <laughs> Guys, that's so creative! Oh my god, it's Wally! -E. That's incredible. I've never- That is so, so imaginative. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I, I'm smiling like a kid, and I guess that's the magic of Disney World, right? Okay, let's go through the flowers, and where are we here? Oh my goodness, Toy Story, of course. It's a resting area, yeah. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, with snacks, snacks are very important. You, you can't have a resting area without snacks. That's just, that's just not cool. Ooh, so we're at that first house already. Oh my goodness, guys. I will see you. Wait, you inside. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, hello. What? What is this? Look at the horse-drawn carriage. The holiday merch shop, guys. And that reminds me. Right after Halloween, I know. I know it's supposed to be Halloween soon, but after Halloween... Maybe I'll have some holiday merch out. I don't know. Maybe you're watching this and it's already out. If it's already out, you'll see a pop-up right now. But, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Something to look forward to. Wow. So nice. All right, wait, what's here? Is this an indoor? Oh, I can't do it. Snow White Scary. Oh my goodness, I love it. That's so fun. I love these rides, especially the scary ones. They are like haunted houses you can't chicken out of. Because if I'm known for anything, it's uh, me chickening out when I'm alone, at least. <laughs> if you put me in front of a scary movie when I'm at home by myself, yeah, no, that's not happening. I'm, uh, I'm just going to go for a little break from the movie and not come back. <laughs> All right, and now we're back here. In the holiday gift shop and we are going to the north room all right in the north room we have another ride is this toy story wait no it can't be pinocchio <gasps> no that makes so much more sense see making pinocchio has to be one of the harder ones to do it just has to be hard in this game because there's nothing no real references that you can do but they did a really good job. I'm a real boy. <laughs> All right, we're back in the beautiful main room going to the right. Is it a bathroom? I doubt it. It's probably another ride because they're just, Ron is so creative. Ooh, happy birthday, Winnie the Pooh. I love this. It's a Winnie the Pooh. Oh, I love it so much. What a shame. 
that the cluster balloon items are bunny day ones. Bunny day is just... That was a dark time in Animal Crossing. It was a, <laughs> a dark side. <laughs> a dark time. It was not very... Not many of us were very happy then. <laughs> Alright, now we are going... Upstairs? Yes, we're going upstairs. <gasps> What's this? Oh my goodness. Mr. Toad Wild Ride. Wait, is Toad... Am I crazy, guys? Is Toad, uh, Disney? Okay, I gotta say one thing. This is so cool, because, uh, just the way it's set up is just... This is so fun! Oh my god, we have the car back there. This is so imaginative. I- I can't- I'm blown away. I'm speechless. This is incredible! So fun! Alright, and last but not least for the first house, the basement. All right. Wow. Hello. Hello. Well, I can't even guess this one. I can't guess this one, but this is cool. Roger Rabbit Toon Spin. What? Okay. Well, there you go. Roger Rabbit. And look at that. We have rabbits there. I love the Mickey designs here. Well, on the gas. That's, that's really interesting. I didn't know you could put custom designs there. I did not know that. That's so fun. So fun. All right, we are done this one. That's pretty fun. Uh, well, I just realized they actually have the house even more pretty. Even more pretty than before. All right, and we're going to go down here. Another happy birthday part. Ooh, 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 this is not birthday. This is spooky birthday. I'm loving the coloring. Look at, they have little spooky touches, just like Disneyland. It's never going to be fully terrifying because, come on, guys, it's Disneyland. But this is adorable. All right, we are now going back here past more. Oh, uh, I don't mind if I take some candy. You didn't see that. Nobody, nobody tell on me. Please don't. Was that another ride? This, this looks so fun. Where, where, where are we going? It's like a Wild West. Big Thunder Mountain. I was right. Oh, I love it. It looks like a full-blown train. Pan up to see the frontier land. I see it. I also see the back tier land. Get it? Because <laughs> I'll stop. But I love how it shows like the exit and the wheels and the way that they've done the rides are really good. This tour has been uh, a bit of a wild ride so far. It's Woody. He's wanted. <laughs> it's such a cute face. It's a little cursed though. A little cursed. Fast pass. I'll take one. <gasps> nope, I didn't mean to turn that off. <laughs> I just wanted to take a, a fast pass. <laughs> we have more kind of roller coasters there. This is so immersive. Oh, I'm having so much fun. We're going to go down here first over to the left. And this is a sushi. Is this a sushi uh, bar? It's a sushi restaurant. Boop, boop, boop. Yum yum yum. Wait, what am I turning on and off? The candle. You can turn it on. And off. You can turn on and off the candle. Takumi Te Restaurant. Okay. Well, I'm glad I could get a Takumi Te Bull. <laughs> Maybe I said that wrong, and then the pun doesn't make sense. But it makes sense if you say it wrong. Okay. On this channel, we speak American. No, I'm kidding. This is the Nightmare Before Christmas. You can't have. You cannot have a Halloween theme at all without this. It's their wedding, of course. I should have seen that earlier. That's amazing. Oh my goodness, and the Jacob Ladders. Oh, th those aren't Jacob. Those are Lily of the Valley. That's what they actually are. More Mickey stuff. Oh, this is adorable. An animation studio, right? I think I'm correct about this. Oh, and the music just completes it. Maybe it's just the arts and crafts place. The animation academy. Oh, right. That's what it is. I love it. It's so creative and just so fun. We are drawing Mickey today. Yay. <laughs> that's adorable. I love it. All right. So now where are we going? Oh, there's a ride here. 
I love how it says a 60 minute wait, but it's not for us. I am getting the VIP tour, guys. I don't have to wait. I don't wait for anyone. Autopia. <gasps> Ooh. Look, oh, move. Look at, I love that design. These custom designs. The the silly. Yes, and I'm trying to say Oogie Boogie, but uh, there we go. Now we can see it. My balloon is adorable, but it keeps blocking beautiful designs when I'm trying to reference them. This is great. Okay, let's go. We're walking on the tracks. Guys, don't do this at home. Actually, you can't do this at home. Uh, don't do this at the park. <laughs> so cool. Look at the train tracks up there. Wait, where are we going? I can't even see. Oh, there we go. We're just doing a full lap right now. Ooh, what's up? Okay, I'm going to be honest, guys. I don't know what this reference is. What is this reference? Uh, I don't get it, but, uh, guys, let me know in the comments. What is this? What is this part? Frozen heart. All right. I wish that cleared it up for me, but I, I still don't know. I, st <laughs> I still don't know what this is, but that's my own problem. That's my problem. You guys, you guys don't worry about that. <laughs> All right. We're going to keep going down. Oh, we're out. Actually, we came full circle. What, a what good planning, Ron. Really good planning. All right, so let's move on. And now we go up here. Past the fast pass. Past Woody. Howdy, partner. And then we go up here. Ooh, we have another ride. Yet another one. Is this the one that we saw earlier? Yes, we saw this one. This was, this was the first one I saw. I think this is the Alice in Wonderland one. And it is. I love that. I absolutely love this entrance. It's one of the best representations of um, falling into the rabbit hole itself. Mad teacups. I love it so much. Look at the big butterflies. Oh, there's Alice. There's a man, or should I say, rather, a rabbit that is late for a very important date. And then Marshall being the cottagecore queen that he is. No. Marshall, I take it back. You are not Cottagecore Queen. Get out of here. Stupid cinnamon bun tail. <laughs> Going past Elsa's castle again. We are entering into... Ooh, is that house number two? It is house number two. We are saying hello to Donald and Goofy. We have another horse-drawn carriage and here we are another beautiful house i can't wait to do this one this is sleeping beauty's castle oh i wonder how many references or rides are going to be inside i'm really really excited i keep just shaking the balloon <laughs> i like it okay guys i will see you inside okay we are inside um hello i would like one ticket um i guess to whatever's in here. I don't really mind what's in here. Dream Suite Lobby. Oh, okay, that works. That works really well. I'm gonna go behind the counter. Is this illegal? Am I gonna get Disney rested or something of them? <laughs> Am I, or something like that? Sorry guys, I'm just trying to be goofy. <laughs> I think my puns are pretty funny. I don't know. <laughs> All right, oh my goodness, of course, now that Star Wars is Disney, we get to, I'm gonna sit front and center, Star Tours, that's so cool. We have, I, I believe it's, like, it's hard to figure out because they all kind of wear the same thing, but I'm just gonna say Darth as well as Luke. But it, uh, for a second, I thought it was Kylo and Rey for a second, I don't know. It's just because I don't think of the old Dis or rather the old Star Wars as Disney, you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, well, you know, you know what I mean? The Does that make sense? Am I the only one in this boat? <laughs> or should I say ship? All right, and now we are going to go down here to the left. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, hello, beautiful jungle. What one is this? Let me see. Jungle cruised inspired bedroom 
All I know is that I'm enjoying it. What villager is that? Wait, who is that? Guys, you're going to have to let me know a lot of things in the comics. I don't know who that guy is. But they are cool if they actually are a villager. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, uh, sadly, we have to flamingo to the next room. <laughs> All right, after that terrible pun, we are going to go off to the right. Oh, the Little Mermaid, of course. Of course. Beautiful. Look at the- wait, the wallpaper. I didn't know there was animated wallpaper like that. Huh. That's really, really nice. Wow, so vibrant and beautiful. Simple, elegant, beautiful every time someone makes one of these shell rooms. But I feel like taking all these items for yourself is a little bit... Shellfish? <laughs> Sorry, that joke was a little bit crabby. <laughs> Alright guys, now we are gonna go... Upstairs. Alright, we are upstairs and we have Buzz Lightyear, Alice, um, Jasmine, R2, and I forget, BB-8, there we go. We have, oh, Cinderella? No, that might be wrong. It might be wrong, Peter Pan. The pirate. Is the pirate Captain Hook or something? I don't know. Wait, guys, whatever, just roast me in the comments. Oh my goodness, there's even more stuff here. Okay, I'm not even going to begin to guess, but that's obviously Mickey and Minnie there and Donald. But we're just gonna, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. This room is spectacular. I love it. All right, guys, we are going to go, last but not least, to the basement. All right, guys, what is this? It's a little cafe. Or some, no, it's just a restaurant. Remy's Cafe, no, I was right, it is. <laughs> it absolutely is. That's so cute, Ratatouille. Am I crazy, guys? This is, this is Ratatouille, right? Wait, one sec, I'm gonna live right now. Remy, is that the name of the guy from Ratatouille? Yes, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm not dumb. For some reason, I thought that Ratatouille might not be Disney. For some reason, I thought, I don't know. It could have been something else. <laughs> I'm glad I got it right. This is really pretty room. Just in itself. Alright, that was a really fun, 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 fun house. Sleeping Beauty's castle is more than what meets the eye. So now, oh, oh what, what was that? Oh, they're lighting them. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Ah, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Aww. What? And now we can actually go through because we burnt it. That's really cool. Ooh, what that? What that? Why, why he's so scary? Mark Twain Riverboat. Okay. Okay. Yo, spoopy boat. Stay hydrated, guys. Hey, guys. This is ASMR Chase from the future, reminding you guys to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, because honestly, you're halfway through the video and you haven't subscribed yet. Are you are you crazy? Ready for Phantasmic? Um, yes, I'm always ready for anything with the word Phantas... Tim... Mick in it. With the VIP viewing, I feel like I have the VIP... 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 Pi? I don't know what I was going to say there. VIP viewing of this entire... Place. Oh, that is so cool. Let's go here. And what? This is so cool. Okay, let me get out my camera. Guys, this is so cool. Look at the way that the projectors are going in our face from far away. It has this like hazy fog and brilliance to the whole area. I can see some horror islands doing that in the future. It's gonna be super fun to see that. Guys, look at the way the lights are. They're just facing us. I don't, there's, it's for Christmas. 
anyone watching this, for the Christmas ones, I want to see entire spectacular things made with those lights facing us. Beautiful. A lot of cool ideas there. A ton of them. So after that beautiful sight, we're going down again to the left and we're leading up to the final house. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Evil Santa Claus and the puppy, the ghost puppy. I forget the names. I forget the names of everything. I have not seen these things since I was a child. Oh, hey, stop trying to scare me. <laughs> Another, we have to wait a little more. Another 60 minute wait. Wow, that was fast. I guess time flies when you're having fun, right? We're already front of the line. That's that's crazy. Okay, let's get a little view at this. What a spooky place. So spooky. Look at all those pumpkins. All right, guys. I will see you guys in the final house. They seem very scared to go in. Is this going to be a haunted house? I kind of hope so. That's what I'm hoping for. Ooh, it is spoopy. Oh, a don't a don't get any ideas. Foolish mortal. Uh, what? 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 Welcome to the haunted mansion. This is doing me an anxiety. <laughs> this is doing me a scary. All right, we're gonna go to the left first. Ooh hoo hoo. All right. Also, Lucky is dead. Uh, I guess you could call him unlucky at that point. But I think that's the whole point of Lucky's name is that it's very unfortunate what happened to him. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, 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 why are you blocking the door? Why you're blocking the door? We need to leave the scary room. All right, we're back in the main lobby going to the right. This is not going to be a bathroom. I hope it's a, just a happy bathroom, but so far, Ron has not done that. Ooh, the piano is a good touch, as well as the knight's armor. The knight's armor being there with the light underneath it shining up makes this really like ominous. The lighting in this game is actually like not for, for lack of a better word. It's literally dynamic lighting, so it actually will reflect off of objects and stuff. It's not just some like fake cone. You know what I mean? Don't know how to explain it, <laughs> but that's spoopy. We are back here going to the room to the north. Madame Leota. Guys, why don't I know what this is? Wait, why can't I walk forward? What's blocking me? Oh, the light. Okay. That explains a lot. Let me touch the portable gong. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. I just something in me. I don't know what it is. It's it's, it's genetics. Okay, it's a genetic condition I have. Something about gongs. I, I don't I don't know, honestly. All right, we're back in the main room going upstairs. Ooh, hello. Oh, that cord is so spooky. The ballroom. Oh, man. Oh, look at the wallpaper. Now that's wallpaper. Ooh, ooh wow. And they made a Christmas tree scary. How do you do that? Why would you make a Christmas tree scary? It's the one thing in the world you don't make scary and you did it. And this is so cute and adorable. Ooh, even the clock chiming. What time is it? It's exactly 8 p.m. in game. The timing impeccable. All right, last but not least for the final house, Z basement. Ooh, Nightmare Before Christmas grave. Graveyard, rather. Yeah, not just one singular grave. I really love that light up squid. I don't know what it's called. Jack and Sally are here too. Yes, I saw that. You don't know Jack. <laughs> Sorry, that, that, that wasn't even funny, but 
I love the lighting, the dynamic lighting on the ghosts, actually. That's really cool. Guys, that's genius. Okay, you take those ghostly robes, you hang them on the wall with a pattern like this and put a light underneath it. And it actually makes them super spooky. Very dynamic, if you ask me. All right, we are done with the final house, but there's still a bit of island left. I can't wait to see this. Peter Pan. If we just Peter Pan the camera up, we can see it better. Hmm. So cool. Guys, I used to watch as a kid one of my favorite movies. Was just called uh, Hook, I believe. And it was about Peter who he had grown up, you know, and he had to go back to Neverland and re-experience everything. And honestly, it's such a ma it was such a magical movie. Robin Williams in it, of course. Enough said. Just what a magical, magical movie. Reminds me of that. I, I did, of course, watch the animated one, but nothing beat the Hook for me. Oh, look at this. Wait, is this a theater? Yes, the theater. Mickey's Magical Map. A daytime show. Well, it's not daytime right now. It's nighttime. It's 8.02 p.m. to be exact. Uh, you dressed up as... <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I love the way that they have the lights in the background. Oh my goodness. And they keep like pretending to transform. I mean, if my balloon's not blocking. They keep going to transform. And it just keeps making so much magic. I love it. Wait, wait. Are they glitched? Holding a... A non-existent... I guess they're just always going for a fist bump there. And they transform back. But yeah, now they, their wand is glitched. So it looks like they're just uh, permanently trying to fist bump. And I, I'm I'm down for that. It's pretty cool. Pump, pumpkin carving. That's fun. They have the map of the island. Just a miniature one. Well, actually, that's not their island. That's a different island. But whatever. <gasps> a water ride. Oh my goodness. The princess and the frog. Tiana Splash Mountain. I love it. Look at the little ghosts at the top. Of course, everything is just has that little Halloween little flare on it. I love it so much. That's so fun. Of course, it's made out of logs because for whatever reason, a long time ago, we decided that every water ride has to be in a log and that's that's it. That's okay. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's keeping any logs of the history of log rides, but yeah, maybe something's like that. I don't know. Would you guys look it up for me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe you could ask Justin Timber, like, <laughs> oh my goodness, gong, and we have, this is Mulan, or is it just a restaurant that I'm being stupid, I'm probably just being stupid, wow, that's pretty, with the pagodas and the imperial fencing and everything, Nine dra Nine's Dragon Restaurant, or was it supposed to be Nine Dragons, I don't know, I've never been, that's really nice, I like it. So it wasn't Mulan. I'm just being dumb. But that's okay. We're used to that at that point. Okay. Just a little silly. Just a fun time. Oh, maybe they missed me hitting the gong on the other way. Oh, uh, I don't think Ron saw me hit the gong. Don't worry, Ron. I have laser vi vi villain? Well, no. Vision for this kind of thing. <laughs> adventure time. Ooh. Okay, not the adventure time that I was thinking. Not at all. It's a different type of adventure time, but you know what I mean? We're going to go on the Tarzan fun play. Oh. Yeah, Indiana uh, Indiana Jones. Yeah, that's what I said. Indiana Jones, because that should have given it away. The the dress <laughs> should have given it away. <laughs> it's okay. Guys, don't worry. I We're not going to talk about it. Moving on. This is so cool. We got centipedes. Hate them. But they look cool here. And we have the tarantula. Hate them. But they look cool here. We have the bones right there. I find bones very humorous. Don't look into the eye. Oh yeah, of course. Of the idol. Wait, you're looking into it right now. Stop looking. <laughs> oh, and then we have the jumps. <gasps> so cool. Oh my god, guys. This reminds me of Crunchy. A little bit of a Crunchy Island. No, run. Yes, I'm trying to run. Wow, you're typing fast, Ron. I guess we should say Ron instead of run. Get it? 
This is so fun and interactive. What a fun interactive tour. Oh, they're driving. Uh, I can't actually go. Drive. I can't drive. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Oh, wait. I couldn't. There was a chair up at the front. Uh, I was just being a little stinker. I was being a little stinky. That is my fault. Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh oh, stinky. That's the right oh, button. <laughs> I played the Minecraft creeper sound on my soundboard because I'm a little stinky. But that's okay. We're going to keep running. Can I make the diagonal jump? Yes, we can. All right. Oh, we have a restaurant there. Another one. Was that the one we saw earlier? The boulder. Oh my god, that is the boulder. That's genius. So genius. Oh my god. And then, yes, you get blocked. It gets blocked by there as we run. Oh, this is so creative, guys. How fun is that? All right, that was so cool, guys. We're not going to talk about how I thought that was going to be Tarzan. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Pixar Pier. Oh my god. I love this. Love it so much. Oh, look. It's Buzz and the Aliens. Oh my goodness. And games. Yes. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Monsters Inc. I don't know who those people are, but. The blue ones, I, I don't know who that is, but whatever. I'm sure I love Monsters, Inc. So cute. Oh, my God. Of course, we got Woody over there. It's like the water game. Oh, that's so fun. Ooh, ooh, um, Coco? Is that Coco? That was so, such an amazing movie. Yo, yo, arr, me matey. Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm not actually sure if that's Pirates of the Caribbean, but maybe it is. Is it the Caribbean? It's, it's one of them. Is it Caribbean or Caribbean? I always thought Caribbean was actually like how they said it over there, but I'm pretty sure it's actually Caribbean. I don't know. Is it just me? Oh my god, there's Jack! Ah, that's so funny! Captain Jack Sparrow. Back onto my weird ramp. I don't know. Caribbean just sounds more white than Caribbean. Does that mean- I don't- I don't- whatever. <laughs> It sounds more whitewashed, but I'm wrong. Probably. Alright, moving on. We got Yellow Snapping Turtle. Ooh, what's that supposed to be? Davy Jones Locker. And it actually kind of looks like, um... It looks like, like, uh, well, a locker, I guess. Or like a jail cell. That's so cool. Ooh, what do we have here? More pirate stuff? The booty... Oh wow, that's a lot of, a lot of treasure here. This booty be thick, <laughs> with two C's. <laughs> Last ride. Oh no, I don't want to go home. But Ron. Okay, fine. Let's go. The Little Mermaid. We are going under the sea. Oh, this is so cool. So so cool. The thing is, is that like I get that we're supposed to be under the sea but i wish this was more of an aerial ride where we could be in the air get it <laughs> i just wanted to clear the aerial of that i just can't kelp myself i i said the kelp one in another video so i kind of ruined it but you know what i mean kelp myself Ooh, ooh, ursula yeah oh we even have the crab <laughs> the reference to sebastian i believe Wow, that is really good, putting the shells on top of those pillars. That's it, that's the island. This was fantastic. Wow, and guys, stick around now for the interview portion of the video, as well as footage of it during the day, so you can see the beautiful daytime magic of Disneyland. All right, and now it is time for the interview portion of the video. I'm here with the island creator, Ron. Ron, first off, wow, that was really cool, magical. So many incredible, unique ideas that I just... I. Every twist and turn was amazing, and just thank you for inviting me <laughs> to your island. 
Thank you. Thank you for having me. I've been looking so forward to for you to come over. Oh, that's sweet. It's always a uh, very nice. I don't I don't know. Like, I'm excited to see your island and I feel like you're inviting me over like you treating me. But then everyone's always gracious and it's always a, it's always a very happy, wholesome time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell us a bit about yourself, Ron. Um, so I live in Los Angeles and I'm a huge Disney fan. Uh, in my spare time, I really love like to creating stuff, especially in drawing and decorating, like doing a lot of interior designing. Uh, my goal in life is to actually to visit all Disney theme parks around the world. Wow. Yeah, you had such specific details about I, I've never been to Disneyland. I've seen things of it, but oh my goodness, you had so much in every single part of the island. Just a reference, a reference, a reference. It's in, it's, and of course, you're an interior designer. Uh, uh, that explains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, if, if I may ask, how many hours did this masterpiece take? Um, I spent about 950 hours. Oh, man. That is... Yeah, yeah that's actually... I'm, I'm not going to lie. That's not as high. That's actually half the highest number I've ever heard. But it's very... Did you do a lot of planning? I want to ask you about that. Like, did you plan it out ahead of time? Like, did you know this is what you were going to do? Or did you just kind of fall into it because you're a Disney freak? <laughs> um, no, actually, I got this game when it came out. So I didn't really play any Animal Crossing before. So I don't know what this game holds for me. So then I kind of have like a regular like island where everyone goes fishing and grabbing fruits and stuff and then I got inspired because someone actually did a Disney island and I got inspired to do that and then after that that's where I decided to convert my island to Disneyland itself oh that's really cool yeah actually um I think I, I do, it was obviously bef you had done it before I toured their island but I toured another Disney island it you're they're so different yours was more like the theme park theirs was all like references it's, it's it was amazing how they're both so different it was really oh good. yeah yes yes megan's island <laughs> yes yes exactly yeah both of you so talented disney freaks just something about them <laughs> <laughs> so uh normally i would ask like how you just describe your theme and how you decided on it but i'm pretty sure that's uh pretty obvious but i'll let you answer it anyway <laughs> <laughs> so my island's inspired by the disneyland resort in california uh, with a touch of Disney California Adventures, because that's also like another theme park connected to Disneyland, and a little bit of Disney World along with some Tokyo Disneyland. So another reason why I created this island is because Disneyland is still currently closed. I do host a lot of island tours with PR, anyone who wants to come visit or like to dream about it and really enjoy the park virtually and really feel the essence of Disney as other at your home so i really like that aspect where we can share our islands through our dreams and really enjoy and tour everything yeah i think uh that, that's why animal crossing was so popular right and the one time you can't go out and hang out with people you can do it you can share you can go to disneyland right <laughs> <laughs> that's right what would your favorite area be because i'm gonna i i have a lot of trouble trying to pick the pick this in my head because I think what impressed me personally the most was the rides, how they were actually interactive. Actually, no, the Indiana Jones one. God, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I like to make my rides like very interactive and like really give that experience as if you were on the ride, you know. But my favorite um, part of the island would have to be the Phantasmic area. It's like a date as a date. It's a nighttime show. Uh, it happens every weekend, and it's where like Maleficent comes out as a dragon and blows up fire and everything, and Mickey tries to defeat her. And that's, that's one of my favorite um, nighttime shows that I usually watch. Yeah, and we got the VIP experience, as you said yourself. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, that was that was great. Yeah, that's that was I, man. I gotta go to Disneyland sometime. I gotta figure it out. You should. You should. Never went when I was a kid. That would have been great. But I live up here in Toronto, like, like there's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should totally come out and really experience Disneyland itself. It's really one of the most magical theme parks you will ever go, ever go to. 
All right. Well, I'll figure that out. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out a way to do it. You know, <laughs> the U.S. isn't too, doing too well right now, though. So we'll figure it out. We'll, figure, we'll wait. We'll wait. <laughs> I'm not rushing there anytime soon. <laughs> so in the future, in the future. <laughs> exactly. Speaking about the future, what are your future plans for your island? I don't think there was a single square not decorated. What are you going to do? Oh, man. A lot of people actually asked me that, too. Like, what are you going to do? Um, I actually thought about it. I actually want to like slowly like roll out like different rides to actually like take down some rides and make new ones. Um, and of course, uh, all of the, all the holiday overlays. I love decorating for the holidays. So Halloween is one of them. Uh, then hopefully for Christmas too. Oh, true. Yeah. You can just redecorate for that. And, uh, yeah, just don't take down the Indiana Jones ride. I think that one was my favorite of all of them. That was really good. Cause like. Some of them, of course, we walked through all of them, but the Indiana Jones was actually like an adventure. I think if you make all of them like that, that would be insane. <laughs> <laughs> like an interactive walkthrough. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that was that was really funny. I like that. So you mentioned um, designing it for the future, and for a Disney Island, you have to have a lot of a lot of custom things. Did you create any of them yourself, or did you find all of them online? Um, a lot of them I did find online. Uh, I found them through like groups, like actual Disney groups for Animal Crossing. But a lot of them I had to create myself because like really like the designs are very specific. So I have to like make it myself. Ah, uh, true. Yeah, because that's what I was thinking. But like maybe in I, I knew there had to be a ton of Disney. Uh, Disney and Animal Crossing just seemed like natural fit. You know what I mean? talking animals like come on like <laughs> so um uh yeah no that that uh totally makes sense which ones did you make if i may ask um i made the haunted mansion one i made parts of it's a small world i make the mark twain boat um a lot of those like grander you know styles because they're hard to find i can't find any of those i have to really make it myself <laughs> Yeah, they're like uber specific, right? Like, how would you find that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so since your island is so thematic and in-depth, I think you'd be the perfect person to give people advice for when they're creating their island, regardless of what theme. So, would you have any advice for the people watching? Oh, yes. Um, so my island, I really have to say is like, really be patient, take your time play your own pace and like don't really like compare yourself to others or feel the need to like measure up to anyone's standards i feel like everyone's so wrapped around that i'm um, not being able to enjoy the actual process of building so i would say like really take your time ask for you know look for inspiration and it's okay to ask for help yeah exactly did you ask for help like the asking the other people in the community or did you try to keep it oh secret. yeah oh yeah <laughs> i do <laughs> i do i always ask other people like oh what do you think about this like, what, how can i improve this what can i add to this i always like really reach out to other people for help so i really do take you know inspiration through other people's work too that's a good way to put it and a very smart idea honestly it's uh about sharing building on other people's ideas right nothing is 100 yeah. percent original like come on <laughs> <laughs> so Speaking of groups, communities, stuff like that, do you yourself have any social media that people can follow you on or keep up to date with your crazy photos? Like, wow, those really impressed me. Oh, yes, I do have an Instagram. It is at ACNH underscore Disneyland. All right, that's simple, guys. Animal Crossing New Horizons underscore Disneyland. There you go. That's easy to find you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ron. Well, that's it for, like, my questions. That was a... Uh, fun interview great great tour uh it was one of my longest tours this that took us like 55 minutes to go through the whole thing and i was like smiling like a child i guess that's the point but smiling like a child the whole time so maybe i don't need to go to disneyland after all <laughs> i already went <laughs> i'm glad you enjoyed it <laughs> <laughs> well you take care ron all right <laughs> all right thank you for having me thank you Perfect.